Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. And I've got a short film for you today, but it's not a short independent horror film. No, this is a short uh, drama, uh, best way to put it. And it's called Stop Eject. And it's brought to us by Neil Osman, uh, who also directed, wrote it, and he also co wrote the screenplay. And we basically get a story of a young woman who has her husband die unexpectedly. And at the same time, she finds a tape recorder, which helps control. Uh, uh, can stop and rewind time to previous events in her life. And we see how she uses this to try to uh, cope with the death of her husband, or not cope, depending on how you look at it. Ah, wow, let me tell you, Stop Eject was a very strong, powerful film uh, that didn't take a lot of time to tell its tale, which I really enjoyed. Uh, first off, the production value of this film is definitely Hollywood value. Uh, it definitely uh, looked fantastic from the audio to the to the lighting to everything about this really high production value so i give them pluses there definitely felt like a hollywood produced film uh but it's not written like something from hollywood this definitely had an independent feel to it i really enjoyed it i likened it to now some of you may not remember it but uh there was amazing stories that came out steven spielberg uh, presents amazing stories and uh it would it, every week they'd get a different story and it, it'd just be a little bit unusual story wouldn't always be adventure sci-fi but just be a little bit different a, 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 a different way to tell a tale and that's what this one this one I could see as one of those amazing stories uh, it it's just a very interesting uh, movie that could get you talking about what if you had the opportunity to uh, stop and rewind events and revisit moments in your past like play out like actually be there uh, so I really enjoyed that there's a great emotion performance in here by Georgina Sherrington. It really stands out. She is the main focus of the film and she really carries the part well. You feel her emotions, you buy into her relationship uh, with her husband, and you also can feel her motivation for what she's doing with this tape recorder because in some ways you could ask yourself, well, I kind of would probably be doing the same thing. Uh, so I just loved her performance in here, but Teresa Collins, who plays the shopkeeper in here, and uh, Oliver Park, who plays the husband, I do like uh, their uh, performances on screen as well. Everybody does a fantastic job. This is a complete, solid produced film that definitely tells a touching story and, and it, it really uh, got me and I, I really enjoyed this film. Unfortunately, right now it seems to be just on the festival circuit, but I will keep you up to date uh, when I find out more if it's going to be available for viewing on download, etc. But uh, just to, you know, you can follow them on their homepage, follow them on their Facebook page. Really, Stop Eject is worth your time and it's definitely one of those short films that I could love to see into like a 90 minute feature because there's so much there could, that could be explored with the, what they've presented just in this short film. So check it out. Anyone who just likes short movies that are well done, you'll want to uh, check out Stop Eject at a festival near you. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stuck.